Welcome to our video on how to create a data module for relative date analysis, where you will learn how to add a calendar, specify lookup references, and create dashboard. To complete these steps, the base samples must be installed. If any of the required objects are missing, please contact your administrator. With the relative dates feature, you can dynamically analyze measures filtered by date periods that are relative to a particular date. Examples of relative date filters include current quarter, last quarter, year to date, or month to date. Date periods are created for you using predefined filters. You no longer need to create your own complex filters or queries for relative date analysis. When using relative dates, you can create reports, dashboards, and stories that show date filtered results in different visualizations, summaries, crosstabs, and so on. To enable relative date analysis, you need to create a data module where your business data is associated to a calendar. In this data module, at least one date column must be associated to a calendar, and at least one measure column must be associated to the date column. The association is done by using the column property named lookup reference. To begin, open any data module that contains your business data. In this example, we have a sample data module based on an uploaded file of 311 service requests for the City of Boston. The data module could have been based on inputs from other data modules, data servers, uploaded files, or data sets. Now we will add a fiscal calendar that begins on October 1st. The sample calendar named 10 October 1st contains a set of date filters and the raw data for the actual dates. If we go back to our business data and click the plus icon for add sources and tables and select add new sources, we'll navigate to team content calendars, fiscal calendars, and select the data module that I just showed you 10 October 1st and click OK. You'll see that a linked data module is created. In this example the calendar is linked. Any potential updates to the calendar will be picked up here automatically. If we had started with the fiscal calendar data module and then subsequently added our business data to it, then the business data module would have been linked. In this case, we must break the link in order to use the lookup reference property that is required in a later step. Tip, to break the link, click the more icon beside the object and select break link. I'm not going to do that here. Now we need to make some connections between the calendar and our data. First, we need to connect the date. The Boston 311 calls data has an open date. This is the date that the 311 call was first made. If we click the More icon for Open Date and select Properties, first we want to verify that the data type is set to date. Under the Lookup Reference property, select Fiscal Calendar. Now, all of the filters from the calendar are now added to open date. We can do the same for all the date columns in our data, but we won't do that in this video. Now we will connect a measure to this date. Select Service Requests. Verify that the Usage property is set to Measure. And under the Lookup Reference property, select Boston 311 request.xlxs open date. New measures are created for each of the date filters. Click Save. To use this new calendar aware data, we can click the new icon and select Dashboard. We'll click OK to select the default template. And to add the data, click the Select a Source button 
and navigate to Team Content, Samples, Relative Dates, Data, Boston 311 Request, which is the data module we just created and saved, and click Add. If we expand the tree, expand service requests, and we'll select year to date service requests. We'll hold the control key down and select ward as well, and we'll drag them onto the canvas. A packed bubble chart is created for us, showing the year to date service requests by ward. For comparison, we could select month to date service requests, hold control and select ward and drag that onto the canvas beside the first one. Now we can compare the year to date and the month to date at the same time. Finally, to get an overall picture, we could drag year to date service requests onto the canvas. And this creates a summary of the total service requests for this fiscal year up until today's date. Thank you for watching our video on how to create a data module for relative date analysis. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about using IBM Cognos Analytics 11.